What is ethics branding and how does it work? Ethics branding strategies have two sides, the economic and the human. We'll start with the economics. This spectrum weighs the value of economic success against social engagement, with standard theories of business ethics arrayed along it. Each theory is distinct, but in general and on the marketplace side, a business is valued in economic terms first, with society derivatively. On the social side, the business is valued as a member of society, and marketplace obligations get bonded by that priority. For example, Tom Shoes is a business leaning toward the social. For every pair of shoes they sell, a pair will be donated to someone in need. That's the guiding value. And economic decisions about pricing, wages, advertising, and the rest all evolve from there. On the other side, Apple works in the marketplace range. Ethical values overlap with economics, and social concerns are managed inside the requirements for marketplace success. Both models have advocates and detractors, and the debate between them is considered the basic conflict in business ethics. Two fundamental arguments are typically deployed on Apple's side. First, a business is an economic entity with obligations shaped by the responsibility to gain profit. Second, economic success ultimately leads to social benefits. On Tom's side, the two guiding arguments are first, a business is a social entity with obligations shaped by society's needs, and social engagement ultimately leads to sustainable profit. However, you come down on this issue, what's important is that these are two different systems of values. They're different ethics, and the resulting brand will appeal in distinct ways to different kinds of people. In other words, one end of the spectrum isn't more ethical than the other. It's just that the distinct values create different ethical languages and brands. And it's not just theory. You can see and hear the difference. Here's an expression of ethics on the marketplace side. The idea is that marketplace success comes first, and social benefits follow. This is what we believe. Technology alone is not enough. Faster thinner. Those are all good things, but when technology gets out of the way, everything becomes more delightful. That's when you leap forward. That's when you end up with something like this. Here's a more black and white expression of marketplace ethics, of the idea that what's valuable in the business world is economic success, and social benefits flow from there. The university's basketball program generates more revenue than anybody in the country. Goldman Sachs was absolutely fantastic in helping us structure the financing, getting it to the market, and that's why this worked. The growth of this company has just been tremendous. I stood back and looked around. There's eight people deep at the bar. Every single table in the restaurant's full. It was wild. Over time, that'll be good business forever. It was how do you put together a package and a financing that offers possibility and loves its sports. Here's an example of business ethics language on the social side. The guiding idea is that it's a shared community that's most valuable, and economic success flows from there. It's worth noting here that the rise of nonfiction advertising fits well with ethics branding. Like ethics itself, this kind of communication is fundamentally about narratives, not statistics. Regardless of the way an ethics is communicated, there are targets out there. Here's a study, which should be taken with a grain of salt, that sets about a third of American consumers in the marketplace camp and two thirds in the social one. Ethics branding isn't only about a business's economic relation with society, there's also a human side. The five principal frameworks for managing ethics on the human scale are duty theory, rights theory, 
consequence theory, virtue theory, and culturalist theory. The question is, what does it mean to see a business as shaped by a specific ethics? Staying with the example of Apple and taking it as a libertarian or a social marketplace company, one highly compatible ethics is rights theory. Rights theory, like all ethical theories, implies strong claims about human existence. They include individualism valued over collectivism, independence valued over belonging, and dignity valued over compassion. Each claim may be traced through ethics branding efforts. Individualism valued over collectivism. General social welfare is conceived as generating from individual initiative. The idea is that flourishing individuals make successful communities. This opposes the premise that successful communities open the way for flourishing individuals. Everyone remembers this expression of individualism valued over collectivism. Today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification. We are one people with one will, one resolve, one cause. The same language comes through here. Maybe you want to know more about anatomy. You could master something new or uncover a hidden talent. There's never been a better time to learn. You can master something new or uncover a hidden talent, the ad affirms. Broad social benefits exist, maybe artistic excellence or a healthcare breakthrough, but only because individuals led the way on their own. Independence valued over belonging. The independence of individuals and organizations is primary. It conditions the acceptance of shared obligations, beliefs, and customs. This hierarchy opposes the idea that individuals and organizations belonging together in the community delineate the space allowed for independent action. I'm, I'm in a timeout because apparently riding the dog like it's a small horse is frowned upon in this establishment. Luckily, though, I, you know, I conceal this bad boy underneath my blanket just so I can get on E-Trade, check my investment portfolio, research stocks. Wait, wh why are you taking... Oh, I see. Solitary. Just a man and his thoughts and a smartphone with an E-Trade app. Nobody knows... Not only is stock trading so easy a baby can do it, there's also the message that independence ought to be maintained in relating with others. That is, Networks of belonging are established to not interfere with basic individuality. The contrasting and rejected ethical orientation, represented by Faceless Mom in this ad, is that maintaining relationships with others sets the boundaries for independent action. Dignity valued over compassion. What's most valuable about others is their dignity. Compassion is first expressed as recognition of that dignity. Respect for individual autonomy maximizes, while charity and pity are minimized as patronization. This stands against the idea that the leading obligation to others is compassion, and dignity is first recognized in others as their inherent worthiness of aid and generosity. I'm Kristen. Kristen, hi. We're going to head on into the interview. Chris, uh, was it buying American important to you? I wasn't going to buy another car that was bailed out by our government. I was going to buy from a manufacturer that's standing on their own, win, lose, or draw. That's what America's about, is taking the chance to succeed and understanding when you fail that you got to pick yourself up and, and go back to work. Uh, Ford is that company for me. What's most valuable about Ford is its dignity. Its autonomy is expressed by refusing the auto bailout. True compassion for others is exhibited by engaging them in fair competition, not by offering charity, which is really shame, patronization disguised as generosity. Finally, Libertarian and social marketplace values represent only one of many routes of ethics branding. Every route, though, defines a business's relation with society in economic and in human terms. Every business has an ethics, a set of values and purposes that can be incorporated into brand identity to produce brand differentiation, affinity, loyalty, and advocacy.